all of us have de facto become sort of very, very small hedge fund uh, managers. It's really a future of things to come. And we're going to see in the coming years more and more of this. GameStop have seen its share price increase drastically over the last few days thanks to some online investors, meaning that some hedge funds have lost large sums of money. So we got Keel's Professor Gullum, head of the Economics, Accounting and Finance Group, to explain what's going on. And first of all, what are the hedge funds trying to do? Well, essentially what hedge funds do is they, um, they essentially look for value. So one of the things they actually try to do is... Um, buy things uh, cheap and sell at a higher price or in a lot of cases what they will do is they will um, essentially take short positions that is buying some selling something which they don't really own so pause there short selling a phrase that many of us won't know what it means i got professor gullum to explain it to me as if i were a six-year-old okay so short selling is okay so let's say for example if you're a six-year-old you go and say to your friend well you know i'll sell you this toy Okay, at this price. Uh, but by the way, I don't have this toy anymore. I'll have it in the future. But let's agree on a price. So in essence, what you're doing, trying to do is make money uh, from something which you don't own at this particular point in time. You then go into the market one month later, say, okay, it's only one pound. I make a profit of four. But on the other hand, if the price has gone up, say 10, you have to buy something for 10 and then sell it for five. That's the loss. And that's what's happened really to the hedge funds. So why have we really not seen this take place before on such a large scale? And is this something that hedge funds need to be worried about in the future? What I would actually say is it's really something we're going to see more and more. People who would have had to rely on brokers and other firms to actually do the trading for them, now they can do it. And not only that, they can actually do it from an app on their phone. All of us have de facto become sort of very, very small hedge fund uh, managers, if we wish to be so. Okay, so what we can do is really join up together, have the critical mass, so that you know, if you have, say, a few hundred dollars, if you lose a bit, it's neither here nor there, but combined, the firepower is that of a hedge fund. And not only that, because you have so many minds working together, your probably understanding as a group is better than that of a hedge fund. So bear in mind, a hedge fund would probably have five or six people or 10 or 12 at the most on a particular stock at one time. Now, when you actually have that with thousands of people, now those 10 or 12 people or five or six people may be very well trained, but there is no way they will match the analytical ability of hundreds of thousands of people in a group. So hedge funds in such a case will very often lose. And what about GameStop? Is the company still doomed to fail eventually, or does this give it a new lease of life? Well, it, it, that remains to be seen, but I, my, my guess at this moment in time would be it'll actually give a new lease of life to the company, and not only that, it'll also give a new lease of life to other companies in similar positions. Because what they've realised is that they are no longer dependent on the hedge funds and the city for financing. You know, we've already seen that, you know, through uh, various crowdfunding sources. This can be actually seen as an extension of traditional crowdfunding, which is actually operating to actually save a company which is already traded in the market, not as a new startup. It's really a future of things to come. And we're going to see in the coming years more and more of this.